All right, welcome back to another pay for play. Today is Saturday morning here. It's 11 a.m. or 11.05 now officially. <clears throat> and we are ready to get this show on the road. Finally, finally, people, we have some good weather on a weekend. You just, I should say good weather in general here in Ohio. I mean, I have to say this weather affects me. It really does. And I can hack rain every once in a while, but like all day rains, I can even do an all day rain once a week. But when it's just like rain, 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 I just, man, it just crushes me. <laughs> so ironically on the, uh, let's see if you guys can see this on my phone, I have like a, a weather app. Um, can you see this? Oh, let's get there close. See that? All next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you just see nothing but rain. This is my life in Ohio. And I think most of you know, I grew up, I was born in Ohio, but I haven't lived here in a long, long time. Uh, I went to school in Indiana, which is basically the same thing. I uh, went to school in Indiana, and after I graduated, after seven years getting my master's degree, uh, I moved back to Columbus for one year, and then I left and went to Denver. Uh, or I went back to Indiana and then I went to Denver and I was in Denver for six six years and then straight from Denver I went to Korea for 10 so I haven't been in Columbus living for you know 16 years or whatever until I got back this past August and I knew coming back I was like and that I mean Seoul's weather is basically the same as Ohio except they get a lot less snow a lot less rain so they get a lot less precipitation and that affects me a lot actually I mean I can handle cold days that are sunny which it happened in denver a lot like you during the winter you get cold days but you'd also get like 60 70 degree days in the middle of winter people think that like denver gets a lot of snow it doesn't really it just get dumped on and then the next day it's all gone typically because it's nice and sunny and, and good so they get dumped on every once in a while but uh yeah for me i just ugh, it bothers me and so coming back here i was like yeah i know i'm not gonna be happy and then being in this now for the you know spring essentially the, the winter wasn't too bad but man being in their spring it was just like oh it's raining every single day so we finally have a nice day here i can finally go out after this video is done and enjoy some nice weather so that's where we are today um i yesterday put in my two weeks notice and uh my work knows so i have two more weeks at my current job and then i will be moving to the new job which is really really good so excited about that, a little nervous, um, but it's going to be a good thing. And that's about it. So uh, yeah, today, I'm just, I'm actually going to have to say this before we get started. Uh, I really think I might have to put a hold <laughs> on the pay for plays for now because it's just getting so backed up, you guys. It's seriously getting so backed up. Um, even after today, uh, I had two more come in this morning when I woke up. And I had like seven come in yesterday. So, I mean, we're really going to get backed up here. I, I think we're already booked for next weekend. <laughs> and this is, this is like, you know, what's going to happen if I take a week off or something like that, which I need to take a week off at some time. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't want to say stop, but I do want to say maybe just relax a little bit <laughs> because we are really, really push back and then maybe in the video where I feel like we're starting to get a hold on it and we're getting to the end, I can say like, okay, we're ready to start going again. <laughs> um, so yeah, today we are exclusively, so we have the next couple of days, we have just exclusive uh, people who suggested. So um, Thursday night was Dan. Dan gave us a good slew of suggestions. And Earthside, uh, since that Thursday night, if you haven't watched that Thursday night um, live session, go back and watch that. It hasn't been blocked yet. It will be probably at some point. And um, through that live session, I really, really enjoyed Earthside. Uh, so Earthside was the, probably the top dog of that, that, that suggestion list. Um, and a few, few other songs that were really good too. And then today, it's Mr. Cliff, and I'm gonna say it, Pedersen, Pedersen, Pesson, Pesson. Uh, is that how you say it? <laughs> See, he said, make the D a little silent. So, Pedersen, Pedersen. All right. Sounds like Pedersen, Pedersen. 
Um, so it is all his suggestions today. So the first band that we are coming up with is Closure to Moscow. Now we listened to Closure to Moscow last time from Cliff, which was last weekend. This song is called Happy Days. And I th I'm pretty sure, uh, you know, this is a different sounding kind of band, but it's uh, something that I liked last time. So let's see if we can like this Closure to Moscow two for two. So here we go with Closure to Moscow. She said to me There we go, I think I fixed it. Let me know if I fixed it. Huh. It's a pretty good song, man. I really like it. A little long, a little long, but I like it. Dude, 
a great song, man. Lots of emotion. Building and ending so good. I like that. So just to make sure you can, okay, yes, you can hear me now. I have no idea why the audio capture was turned off on that. I had to re-upload another audio capture <laughs> device for some reason. I hope this doesn't happen with every other song, so we're going to have to figure this out. I'll have to check it. But glad you guys said something or else I would have been sitting there talking the whole time. Uh, basically what I said, especially at the beginning, I love the energy of this. I think it's good 70s kind of rock. Uh, drug rock is what I like to call it, um, Led Zeppelin-ish rock, and I would say I really, really like it, but as I said in the first time I heard it, and last week, is I think if it was like this every song, I would, it, for, for whatever reason, it would get, this kind of music gets redundant to me if it's, if it, if there isn't like a, that's the word I'm looking for. Enough of a change between the two songs for me to like notice the difference. But I would say, even though I think the last song, I have to go listen to it again because I listened to it a second time after. So I have to listen to it a third time again. Uh, it's on my playlist, but I didn't go to the damn gym this week because of everything that was going on. Uh, so I didn't get to hear much music this week. I would say it's similar enough to the last song that we heard that it seems very same to me. And if every song was like that, even though it has a lot of emotion and it has a lot of stuff, it doesn't seem like there's too much of a distinction between the songs. Maybe. Now, that's just my, you know, that's a maybe. It's an if. I'm not saying they are, because obviously I only know two of the songs. But if, if they sound like that, um, then yeah. Uh, if I kept listening to it and it sounded like this, I'd probably get a little, it'd get a little redundant to me. But yeah, that was a great song. Lots of energy. I feel like, I definitely feel like it'd be better if you were high. <laughs> definitely be better if you were high so nice job um thank you guys for helping me again with the uh with the audio because that was kind of crazy so let's hope that it doesn't happen with the second song the second song is let me read some of the comments other than we can't hear you um the name of the band is um closure to moscow the song name was called happy days adrian uh speaking of adrian um like i said today so yes or Thursday night we had Dan today we have Cliff and tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. is going to be an all-day Adrian day so this these three videos this weekend are basically all one person with a suggestion so it's kind of like a battle of the weekend <laughs> yes Cliff I agree shrooms actually I, I, I personally don't like uh, weed or I just it's not my thing I don't like smoking for number for one and I know there's edibles and stuff like that now but I never really got into weed. Um, I think maybe 20 years ago or 10 years ago, 15 years ago, well, definitely before Korea. Uh, I, I tried some because obviously Denver, you know, a lot of people do it, but I, I think shrooms are way better. <laughs> uh, all right, so next we heard this band as well. Um, we heard them last time and I liked them a lot. This is, and actually I had somebody in the comments on Thursday night say that since last weekend's pay for play it was the first time they also heard this band and since that last weekend's play they've been listening to this band and their albums since so i'm excited to hear this this was actually cliff's original pick <clears throat> for this band but then he changed it last weekend and so now we're going to hear that original pick this is distorted harmony distorted harmony and the song name is called misguided 
So let's hope that the microphone is working for this one. If not, I'll try to fix it as fast as I can. All right, here we go. Yes, now it's working. I like that. Da -da, da -da, da -da. <clears throat> yes, I love the section. See how daytime calling. See how the lyrics Yes. Run. Beautiful. Dude, the singing and the delivery is on point. On their uh, Idola side. Uh. This is awesome. And I'm telling you, this video is definitely making it even better. Whoever made this video did a great job. Dude, this song is... I like this better than the first one so far. Seriously, this is better than the first one. Love that. That <laughs> damn. Like it's like the lyrics and the way that he's reading them are like right behind the beat. It's awesome. Ooh. Yes. Good switch and transition there. Dude, this is better than the last Distorted Harmony song for me. Nice chorusy. We have a home base. Yes. And I like his voice. Say goodbye.
seeing they're going off a little bit. Yes! This part is sick! <laughs> Dude, this is like a great song! Dude, that bass is kicking shit! Dude, that was... That was so smart. Like it... Reminds me of John Petrucci solo. Yeah, even the way they're breaking up the chords that are going by. Damn, this is good. Dude, this is this is very Dream Theater-ish. Yes, this is very. Nice, and they go right back into it. Yes. Hey, my nose is running. Yeah, Colin, I think this delivery is fucking beautiful. It's different, it's unique, yet it still hits the point. This is awesome. And even like different melodies. definitely was in my opinion better than the first distorted harmony song that we heard um, that was really really good I mean the vocals okay I, I know some of you are saying in the uh, comment number one it's not better than DT for sure <laughs> uh, I would say it's good it was good like DT but it, I would it would not be I would not say it's better than DT um, number two I personally feel like it sound at least I would say from the middle section of the song to the end sounded more DT than Haken Although Haken does sound very DT sometimes. So, but I would say the way that that progression, especially in the solo, sounded way more DT than Haken to me. Now, granted, I haven't heard of all of Haken's discography, obviously, but from the stuff that I've heard from Haken, uh, and obviously from DT, that from the middle part to the end sounded way more DT to me than Haken. Um, but the delivery, vocal delivery and stuff like that was definitely more Haken. Like, Haken does that kind of, like, different, unique kind of delivery of the lyrics, which I think sometimes when Haken does that, I don't like it. Um, I, at first, uh, what was that? Uh, I can never think of the song names. Yellow, Yellow something. At first, Yellow, whatever it is on the new album, kind of threw me off. 
Uh, I didn't, it took me a little bit to like it. <clears throat> um, and there's some other songs that I hear when Haken does the vocal delivery that's different. I don't like as much, but to this, holy crap, this was, yeah, this was the way that it was matching. It's kind of like when they talk about drummers and drummers being in the groove, they want drummers in the groove to be just kind of dragging the pace a little bit. So you're not quite hitting right on the beat. You're hitting right. I felt like the vocal uh, dissension there, or dis dissension, I don't know if that's dissension, uh, the, like how it kept falling was like uh, right behind the beat. Like, so the beat would hit and then the, the vocal note would go down right after it. I think it was brilliant. I don't think that that was by accident. I think that they definitely did that. So yeah, I mean, that was, woo. Um, I loved it. I think, yeah, give me some more of that if that's what they sound like because I think it was great. So, all right. Uh, let's get to the third song, which we are back with some, I'm sure there's going to be some happy people out there, Pain of Salvation. So I did like the last Pain of Salvation song. I thought it was brilliant. Um, I, you know, Pain of Salvation more so than even Leprous lately because Leprous is going up the hill. I feel like Pain of Salvation is where Leprous was before where it's like sometimes I like their songs and sometimes I really dislike their songs. So maybe this is the start of a turnaround for Pain of Salvation as well because the last song I really, really like. So this is Pain of Salvation and the name of the song is called Sisters. Sisters. So I'm going to have to fix the... For whatever reason, I don't know why the audio capture just decided to turn off. I don't know what I did. But I'm going to have to re-upload uh, it like I've been doing every time once the song starts to figure out what's going on. So here we go with Pain of Salvation. Yeah. Like that drum march. Our dizzy and happy from too much wine. I leave the party behind to walk along with my thoughts and the spinning mind. This cold night, but there she stands. I like this so far. Like you, and she smiles almost like you, a child of the wild, just like you. Okay, yes. I'm liking this feel so far. Maybe it sounds a little leprous right there. That just singing it totally sounds like leprous, which is the kind of leprous I like. So for a second, I think I get a glimpse of the real behind. Maybe I'm gonna like Pain of Salvation's ballady type stuff. And fragile with smiles that reach to her eyes. But just this moment, a change. Really like that. Sublime. Those high, like. Good transition. I like this so far. My hand 
I like this song, but I have to admit his vocal, his vocal like, reminds me of that uh, forgetting Sarah Marshall. <laughs> the last play that he does, he's like, I love you, Count. This is a beautiful song. I like it. Even strives not to be like those harmonies. Just like sister would do. And perhaps it's the one of the hour in her eyes that I want her. Like it. Nice building. Very, very. Definitely like that song, so maybe just like Leprous, it's gonna be I like their more ballady type stuff. And maybe it sounds like their newer stuff. Um, it's probably stuff I like more. That's cool to see bands go on a journey like that, like I've said in other other live streams where you know, if you hear their older stuff, maybe you don't like their old stuff as much, you like their newer stuff, or you don't like their newer stuff and you like their older stuff, and it just kind of shows different tastes. Um, definitely think that that was a good song that will definitely go on a playlist this is also a song that I think it would be really really important to know the lyrics to so when I go back and listen to it I'll listen to the lyrics because the song's beautiful as far as musical uh, but like I would say the focus of a song like that the less technical you get the more important lyrics and message become in my opinion um, and so this was a very ballady, whatever you want to call it, song. So I feel like it'd be really important to know the lyrics and the point of this song. So yeah, I will go back and listen to that and try to figure out some of the lyrics. I, one thing I really wish, just like the last video for uh, Distorted Harmony, is half of what made that song really good was whoever created that video. The video was really well done and, and it gets the lyrics. So I've always said, like, if you guys can, if you can get a good song, like the audio is good, as well as a lyric video, <clears throat> I like that the best because then I can follow along with the lyrics as they're being spoken along with the music. So just keep that in mind for future suggestions. If you can find a version of the suggestion you want that has a lyric video, to me the best lyric video was that last one with Distorted Harmony and it definitely added to the song. It wasn't just the lyrics. 
but it was a, even a step up past that and it was just really really good so uh the only thing that i said as in the reaction that was funny um is that uh like when he was like huh ah. Reminding me of the movie Forgetting Sarah Marshall because at the end when he does the play with Count Dracula, <laughs> that's how they sing in there. So it's always going to be stuck in my head and that's going to be the comparison I make when I hear that. <laughs> Just reminds me of that. So anyway, let's move on to the fourth song. This fourth song is called Rendezvous Point. Yes, we have Rendezvous Point. I think that's how you say it. Uh, and Universal Chaos. We've heard this before as well. So I feel like uh, Cliff has given us like a, a second dose of most of the bands that we heard last time. So uh, Rendezvous Point is the name of the song and Universal Chaos is, I'm sorry, Rendezvous, Rendezvous Point is the name of the band and Universal Chaos is the name of the song. So here we go, people. I had to block out the video just in case. The double bass stubble sure fucking sick. So far, I like it. I like the drive of it. pretty cool. It's like triplet feels. Ooh, that was That was a good melody right there. Oh, I thought it's gonna go up again. That's kind of a cool mix with the rhythm behind that. I like that. Dude, that's cool. That sounded good. I like this part.
Rendezvous Point. That was a short song. Alright, so the fact that that was a short song makes me like it more. Like, if it would have kept going on for like seven minutes like that, that would have been too much for me. But because it was short like that, I think that was definitely a song that would go on my playlist. Something that I will like the more I listen to it. I would say, though, my first initial feeling is there was something missing. I don't know what, but I have to hear it again. But on a first listen, there was definitely something missing. Uh, so I would say I like this song. I don't love it right at the moment. But maybe if I listen to it more, which I'm going to because it's going on a playlist. I liked it enough for it to go on a playlist for, for me to listen to more. A lot of those double bass stutters and the bass, the actual bass sound in it was really good. I liked the melody of it. Um, <clears throat> it's just, I'm surprised there's so many of these bands I hear that are doing this. It's crazy. So... Yeah, definitely liked it. Uh, good job, Cliff. You're doing a great job again at picking songs that are great. Like, I haven't heard a single song that I'm like, no, no way. So, you're definitely up there, man. Cliff's got a, a knack for picking good songs so far. So, uh, all right, let's move on to the last one because we're at 46 minutes into this one. And uh, this last song is called Protest the Hero is the band's name. Protest the Hero. Never heard of them. And it's C'est La Vie, I think. C'est La Vie is the name of the song. But it looks... Yeah, I think it's C'est La Vie. <laughs> Let's find out. So this is Protest the Hero. I'll be interested to see what you guys think if you guys have heard of them. Um, here we go. Yeah, I definitely think Sasha's going to like this. <laughs> yeah, I fixed it. It's very like... Yeah, I knew, I knew. This is going to be a Colin and a Sasha thing. These pictures. Well, thanks for telling me, Adrian. Yeah, it does sound like Michael Romeo a little bit. Especially that part. <laughs> okay, it's getting better. It's getting better.
Nice. Whoa, was that the whole song? Whoa, wasn't expecting it to be that short. Short and sweet, I guess. Uh, hmm. I don't know how I feel about that song. I, I definitely had that power metal vibe to it. I did like the kind of when they went off and I liked some of the, I would almost maybe call that too short. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying that, but it was like, they had some cool parts in it, but it was like, oh wow, that just suddenly ended. Um, but it was good. I would say that was really good. Definitely sounded like Michael Romeo, as we talked about. Um, I would agree that I didn't like his higher pitch sound, which is typical of power metal or like that kind of sound when he was kind of screaming-ish. But I do like when he was kind of doing the normal singing. Definitely was something that I uh, will have to listen to again and see how I feel about it on a second time. So I will say though, out of the five songs that we listened to today, that would maybe be um, the least favorite of the five. But that's not saying much because there wasn't anyone that I disliked on this. And yes, I would agree, Max. Thank, welcome, Max, for coming. Uh, it did sound very kind of like back. I don't know if it was the uh, the recording was on purpose to be like that or if it was just a bad track to pick. Uh, but again, this is why I have you guys, when you do suggestions, you have to send me a link. Um, Adrian, you're really bad about that, by the way. Um, so I don't really care. Uh, it's more that if I pick a track that has like a sound that's shitty, that's not my issue. <laughs> that's why I had you guys do that. So um, yeah, I think this was a great pay for play overall. Um, Cliff, you're definitely going strong on your picks. Um, tomorrow you're going to have... Uh, some challenge with Mr. Adrian because I would say Adrian holds the key for uh, picking songs that I really like. Not that, it, again, not that it matters because I, I like not just liking the songs. I like when I'm challenged and we listen to songs that maybe I'm not used to or don't know. So I don't want to make this into a battle between who gives me to like more songs. But I do say that so far in the past, I've observed that Adrian just has always picked great songs. Half of it's because he always picks Vola, and Vola is just fucking awesome at the moment. So, <laughs> uh, Cliff, you're doing a great job of picking some good stuff. Um, Jason, yes, uh, we did collapse. Um, I, can't, I think that was Thursday night. Or was that last weekend? I can't remember. Man, it's all starting to come together now. The, all these bands, which is why I'm making this list. So these songs are going on a list. That way... Not only can I know when you guys pick something if I've already done it, but also if I need to go back and research a song that I was like, oh, I forgot about that song. I want to make sure it's on a playlist. I can go back and listen to it. So yeah, I thought today was great. Cliff, good job. And tomorrow, all of you should be here again because we are going to be listening to Adrian's five picks. And we'll have to see how you all like that. We all know what Sasha and Connor are going to think. <laughs> so... We'll find out. Well, I shouldn't say we know all the time, but you, we, their, their tastes are pretty straight and narrow, so to speak. I would say mine are as well, to you know, in a different sort of vein. So I kind of like that, kind of push and pull each other. Uh, but as far as your Saturday, hopefully your Saturday's good. I know uh, Sasha said something about talking about um, the weather being a boring topic, but for me, yeah, I'm, if you're talking about weather all the time, it's boring. But like, it is important thing affects my day, so. I'm going to go out and enjoy this nice weather, hopefully, and uh, have a good weekend. So we'll see you guys tomorrow morning at 11. And this is the captain saying, peace out.